some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Washington State with this softard right here who goes by the channel name, and you all will remember this one uh, from a previous video. That really put this idiot on the map. And for those of you who don't know, this is Son of God, Adam. And he's still at it trying to pull uh, this softard crap and uh, failing to, uh, well, learn anything from it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Hey. Oh, so are you. Take your driver's license, proof of insurance, and uh, registration, please. Um. What for? So you don't have any plates on your on your truck. So I'm Am I required to have them? Now don't play stupid, uh, boy. I mean, you already know that uh, you're supposed to have those plates on your vehicle you've been arrested for it several times already in fact you may recall this particular arrest right here i mean didn't you learn anything from that uh well of course not i mean otherwise you wouldn't be here today are you required to have plates on the truck yeah for i mean you saw the notice on the back right not not for hire okay that doesn't matter if you're operating a vehicle on the i roads, i do don't believe i am on the truck i don't believe i am Yes, you are, sir. Okay. I need your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration, please. What? Do you suspect I'm engaged in commercial activity or what? That's not, no, I'm not saying that at all. You're just not, ha you're not displaying plates as required on Washington roads. Okay. And what makes you think I'm engaged in commercial activity? I didn't say I was, sir. Hey, Adam, uh, I got a question for you. Uh, have you ever done your research on uh, driver's license classifications? You'll find that, uh, well, your argument might just be a little, uh, well, idiotic to begin with. I mean, considering that uh, every state has their own classification system for uh, commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses. So the argument that... Uh, yeah, uh, driving is only considered to be a commercial activity is just, well, pretty much flat out wrong, dude. You really need to uh, actually do your research rather than, uh, well, making up shit as you go along. Well, then why are you stopping me? Because you don't have plates on your truck. Well, again, what makes you think I'm engaged in commercial activity? Do you not know the law? Sir, that's not, that's beyond the point. Okay, the point Beyond is, if you're operating a vehicle on this on Washington you keep, streets, you need okay, to Okay, what evidence do you have that I'm operating any vehicle? I saw you driving, sir. I don't understand what you're trying to do. I don't understand what you're trying to obtain. Control for the report. You can get a code one. This guy's not... One. What's your name? Uh, I'm badge number? Officer Chamberlain, 9029. Okay, so I do need identification, driver's license, proof of insurance, registration. Do you suspect me of a crime? What was that? Do you suspect me of a crime? Right now, I'm just inspect. I'm tr trying to investigate what... So you're trying to make a crime? Well, accusing the uh, officer of manufacturing a... Uh, crime on a uh, uh, traffic stop. Yeah, uh, dude, uh, you're the one who doesn't have any plates on your vehicle as required by uh, Washington state law. I mean, uh, all you need to do is look up the statutes and everything else like that. Oh, wait, now remember, you don't believe in statutes and codes and everything like that. You're a free man of the land and everything like that. But the argument won't hold water because you are essentially operating a motor vehicle on the public roadways of Washington State and still have to abide by the laws of that state in order to operate the motor vehicles. But apparently you have not learned that lesson, probably never will. I wonder how long it's going to be before uh, you end up getting, well, some serious jail time for that crap. No, that's not what I'm saying, sir. Okay, then what crime do you suspect me of? I pulled you over for not having God. And th is that a crime? That's an infraction on, on Washington Street. Okay. Well, 
Do I not have the right to privacy? Privacy? Yeah. What kind of privacy? Unreasonable searches and seizures. Unreasonable, uh, you know. I have reason to stop you because you don't have any plates on this truck, sir. Is it a, is it a, is it a crime? It is against the, the laws of Washington it's a, operating a vehicle on the streets without plates, sir. I don't understand what you want. I don't know what I've done wrong. I need to see valid registration for this truck. For what? And a valid driver's license. What, what leads you to believe I'm engaged in commercial activity? Okay. I, I'm not going to... Are you new on the force? We're going to wait for my partner. Okay. To get here and then... Well, you got 20 minutes, dude. A little longer than a few minutes later. Are you going to ID yourself? What for? Do you suspect me of a crime? Yes. What? Driving a vehicle on on Washington. That's a crime? Yes, it is. What is it? A felony or a misdemeanor? It's a traffic infraction. Okay. Is, that's not a crime, then? It is a crime. You can look it up. Get on your phone. You can look it up. So, we have a right to detain you. You have, a right, you have the right to detain me for nothing. For no crime. Let me, you want me, let me finish? No, I don't care. Okay. So you have, you, they're in a traffic stop. You, we have the right to ID the driver. You, you have the authority? We have authority to ID. No, I don't believe you do because you're not, you. what, what crime do you suspect me of? So whether you can ID, whether what you crime do you suspect me of? Or we'll take you to what jail. What crime do you suspect? Oh, so you're driver. threatening me now. What am I threatening you? You said you'll take me to jail with fucking ID me. You, and you haven't even suspected, you can't articulate a crime. Allow me to uh, explain this to you slowly, soft hard, uh, so that way uh, your uh, lead paint uh, addled brain can at least have a chance to comprehend it. Uh, you are operating a uh, motor vehicle on a public roadway without a set of license plates on your vehicle. And according to or uh, Washington State codes, you are in violation of that particular statute, which is pretty much breaking the law. Therefore, essentially, you have com uh, committed a crime, a rather minor one, but a crime nonetheless. Do you comprehend that now, Sovtard? If not, well, uh, I don't know what your problem is because I've said it about as clearly as anybody ever could. How many times have we, I know officer here has already told you three times why you're being stopped. And I haven't heard a crime yet. Twice. I haven't heard a crime yet. Can you just get your fucking supervisor, dude? You just get your supervisor. Nah, that's not going to happen. So, oh, really? So right now... Get your fucking supervisor. Yep. So You're being recorded. Are you going to ID yourself so we can go... Then you suspect, when you articulate a fucking crime that you suspect me of... Get the RCW code for... I don't care about your fucking RCWs. I want a crime, a, a fucking felony or a misdemeanor, dude. And there you go. Uh, he just let the cat out of the bag. He doesn't care about the RCW, the uh, revised codes, the statutes that he is breaking. He doesn't believe in them. He doesn't believe in the RCWs. Therefore, this guy probably could commit murder and say, I don't care about your... Uh, Laws, I don't care about the RCW, so you can't uh, touch me. Yeah, that's the kind of guy we're dealing with. That's what Sovtards are all about. A crime. What is crime do you suspect me of? Okay. What's your name and badge number? Yeah. Huh? He's it. I also grabbed, uh... You got him? Hold him. Hold him for a minute. What's your badge number? Name and badge number? Sorry? Your name and badge number? Officer Miller, badge number 9021. Thank you. Well, let's just go ahead and fast forward to the end of this video because there's an officer that comes by who apparently knows this guy and has dealt with him before and they, they just chit chat for a while and he talks about his uh, job in construction which brings me to another point uh, if he is uh, saying that he doesn't need to uh, have a driver's license because he doesn't uh, do commercial activity then uh, 
Why the hell doesn't he have one to begin with? Because construction is essentially a commercial business because they're essentially trading a uh, service, essentially construction, for monetary gain. That is the basis of commercial activity. Oh my goodness, dude. You're not that bright, are you? Many, many minutes later. Uh, any way I can get the van off the truck? Uh, what for? Uh, I need to make sure it's not stolen, number one. Well, do you have a, do you have a, sorry. Uh, do you have a report of a stolen vehicle? Uh, I don't know. I have my well, then car. why are you? Uh, we get reports every day of stolen vehicles. But right now, this, this, this vehicle has no plate. Your van up here is covered up. So that's typically what happens when somebody steals a vehicle. Yeah. Is they take the plates off and then they stick something up here so you can't read them. Actually, this is what they usually do is they put fake plates on so they don't get so they don't come back to the real car. No, no you think plates. people are stupid enough to steal a, steal vehicles and put well, and put know, nothing on it? Uh, is that a rhetorical question, Soft Hard? Because there are dumb criminals out there who would do such a thing, and uh, there are a bunch of Soft Hards out there who are just as dumb, such as yourself. So uh, yeah, I can understand why you would think that uh, nobody would be stupid enough to do it, because well. Uh, nobody can be dumber than you. Maybe somebody skilled, maybe at it, do it, does it all the time. Absolutely. That doesn't all the happen. Time, they just strip the plates off. Yeah, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Are you not gonna? You don't want to do that? I, I unless I'm gonna be arrested or something. Well, right now you're gonna get cited for a misdemeanor. A, a misdemeanor? Yeah, driving while suspended is a misdemeanor. Okay, who's the victim? What do you mean victim? For a crime to exist, there must be an injured party. No. Okay. Not driving while suspended. Well, I, I disagree, but... Well, man, you disagree, that's fine. Yeah. I don't mind you have that right to disagree with him, whatever you want. So, so I'm just asking, are you, do you want to give the VIN or you don't want to give the VIN? It's up to you. I mean, it's private property. I'm just, I'm asking you. That's all. <laughs> Find it, yeah. I, uh, I mean, unless I'm going to be arrested or something, I mean... I'm not going to... Okay. If I can't see it up here, I can't... I'm not going to open your door to get it off the door plate. Right. So if you're not going to do that, uh, then fine, we'll just... We'll go. We'll do what we need to do, and then we'll get you on your way. Yeah, I prefer not. Uh, Thank you. So. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. I just Googled, uh, the other day, I just Googled, I forgot what I asked it, but I sent it to... And that's where the video ends, everybody. I mean, uh, did he get cited? Did he get arrested? I mean, who knows what happened? I mean, uh, all these fraudsters will cut off the video to ensure that uh, they uh, make themselves look like... Uh, the uh, hero of the video when they are t uh, completely the losers but one thing's for sure the officer said he was going to get cited and whether or not he got arrested after this uh, who knows but you know um, this is still not going to encourage this guy to uh, do the right thing uh, even the uh, simple citation I mean he got arrested last time and uh, that didn't teach him anything I mean the guy is a slow learner a complete moron at that so definitely expectations are low that he will learn anything from any encounter he has with the police that coupled with his inability to self reflect just ensures that he will be a complete and total dumbass for the rest of his life. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube.
But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?